good morning children so today we will discuss about living and non living things see how wonderful is our you can see in our surroundings things like various things like machines tables chairs uh, at home you can see plants and while you are playing in ground you can see various types of uh, organisms and while you are coming to school you can observe buses machines vehicles various kinds of things so what do we can call all these things how can we categorize all these things right if you can see in your surroundings while you are visiting a park if you can see various things you can observe like plants human beings kids and birds and um, rabbit and children who are playing and machines and uh, statues various kinds of things we can <coughs> how we can categorize these things how we can categorize these things basically we can categorize these things into two categories likewise the things which have life we can call them as living things and certainly the things which don't have life we can call them as non living things let us see let us categorize these things so human beings comes under into living things category and animals also comes under into living things category plants also comes under into living things category and what things we can consider them as non living things like rocks <coughs> table vehicles etc etc so why you can call them certain things as living things and why you can call certain things them as non living the thing is the things which have the things which have life we can we can call them we can call them as living things yes i have discussed human beings animals birds plants all these are come under into living things category at your home also you might have observed cockroaches and uh, might have uh, you might have observed a lizard on the wall so these are all comes under into living things so let us see what properties made them as living things based on what characteristic features do they possess let us discuss living things generally they possess some important characteristic features likewise characters like growth breathing movement response excretion and finally and finally reproduction and finally re production so children the things which have life we can call them as living things living things they possess these characteristic features like growth breathing movement response excretion and reproduction these are the some of the characteristic features of living things so in detail we will see how living beings perform all these 
how they possess all these characteristics and how they will perform all these activities. And we can see how non-living things cannot perform all these things. So, you might have learned in your previous classes non-living things cannot move, non-living things they cannot breathe, non-living things they cannot give any response. Take for example, a bench or a chair which is going to be which is not going to be giving any response when you hit or when you done something. Okay, right. So, now let us see the each one of the property how it is going to be performed in living organisms. So, as you know already in your previous classes you might have discussed about food. Right. Food is why food is required for us? Right. Food is required as to get energy, to get energy. Yes, you are already know that food is required for the growth and to produce energy. So, which is required for us to perform various activities in our body. So, <coughs> while we are taking food, so 